Different Facebook. There it is. There's Facebook. What's up, freaks? On Instagram, Facebook. We are getting ready to start a boot camp cardio session. All you need is a single dumbbell or a single kettlebell or both. We're going to do some specific to the kettlebell, some specific to the dumbbell. But if you have just one or the other, it doesn't matter. It all will work just the same. So just get a second to get that stuff out. Stretch out, shake it out, go find a kettlebell or a dumbbell. Getting ready to roll. It's going to be a full hour long training session. Following straight along, we got you on the Instagrams, the Facebooks, the MySpaces, the Tweeters, all that nonsense. And just trying to get on a, another device here. Literally like eight or nine freaking phones and devices here recording. So just get that single kettlebell, get that single dumbbell, get ready to roll. Also, you want to have today a little more space than you normally have. If you could have like a little mini square. So move your shit around. Move your couch, move your whatever the hell you have there in the house. Move it around, make yourself some room, and get ready to work. Because we're going to be doing movements forward, movements backwards, and movements side to side. It's a lot on your, on your feet, a lot of footwork, a lot of different types of footwork, a lot of different types of movement across the floor. So make sure you are ready to roll. Just getting set up on the last device here while I give you a chance to make some freaking space so you don't go breaking shit, you don't go running through the walls. And then we are going to get rolling. We're going to get started. So get a single dumbbell, a single kettlebell. This phone still has like an old version of Instagram on it. You know how to get this live? Can you get the live and you'll one? On PZ. Anyway, we're going to get rolling. So we're going to get started, but getting warmed up. We already did a little, I already did a foam roll warm up, did an uh, exercise band warm up, and I did a few minutes on a rolling machine to get rolling, just get extra warm up and burn a few extra calories. So let's get started. We need those shoulders loose here. You're going to be doing some dumbbells and some kettlebells, so you know how it goes. Ours are stiff as shit from our 24 hours of push ups. They are brutally sore, but we're not going to be little bitches. We are going to work through it. So backwards, shoulder circles, walking backwards. I will B I T slate slap you, boy. Yeah. And forward, shoulder circles, walking forward, loose, loose. And the more you do, the more blood flow you're going to get, the less sore they're going to feel. So just bring them forward while you're walking forward and make yourself some space because you're going to need some front and back space. You're going to need some side to side space and backward circles coming back. All right, we're going to walk forward with a knee hug. Hug the knee to the chest, stretch it. You got it. And then walk backwards with a hamstring stretch. Hamstring. And fling the chest open. Hamstring. Fling it open. Hamstring stretch. Wow. Stretch that leg. Point toes in the air. Fling the chest. Just get that little extra upper body movement rolling. As we're starting to get our blood flow and suck it up. Now going forward. Back to that knee hug. Knee hug up to the chest. Stretching the hip. Glute. Getting body ready to move. Ready to work. Ready to attack. And then we're going to go backwards. What's up, Renee Nicole Ingram? Backwards with alternating quad stretches over on Instagram. Quad stretch, walking backwards. So the leg that you're standing on, you're going to keep the knee slightly bent. Quad stretches, walking backwards. Hold it for one to three seconds. We're going a full hour here, so we need to get you warmed up, loosened up. Now you're going to go a hip stretch. You can grab underneath your ankle and stretch this hip and glute and then down, other side, bring it up. So one foot's on the outside of my foot, one's under my ankle, so I'm not bending my ankle, and then control it down. Hold it for as long as you need to, one to three seconds. You know if you need to hold it longer. Now we're gonna go backwards again, back to that hamstring. Hamstring, fling it open. Fling that chest, get that lower back stretch, hamstring stretch, hip stretch. Fling it. We are getting ready to get our freak on. Stretch it, boom. That blood flow. Start waking yourself up. Start moving. Going forward again with that knee hug. Hug the knee. Hug the knee. Knee up to the chest. We're just rotating through all these stretches. Hold it for a few seconds. Now going backwards again with the quad stretch. So while you're doing this, you're realizing how much space you have front and back because you're going to be moving. Gauge that distance. You're going to be moving kind of fast pace eventually. Front, back, and side to side. So make yourself a little square of space if you have to. Listen, even if it's a tiny square, it doesn't matter. You'll be going for time. 
So even though we have a big square outside here, we'll just do a big square for, say, a minute round while you're just doing a small square. It doesn't matter. Stretch it, stretch it. And now just shake it out. Fling that arms open, right on my top, right on my bottom. Getting that blood flowing. Just fling it open and crisscross them. Loosen up, even if you're sore and you're stiff, work through that. You need to push through it a little bit to open it up, to get the blood flowing, get some freaking nutrients into those ripped up muscles. That, like this right here, forget it. Like a knife in there from that push-up challenge. And now catch for a stretch for three seconds. And fling it, catch the other side. Three seconds. You can walk around while you're doing it. Fling it. Catch it and stretch it. Fling it. Catch it and stretch it. Yeah. Your shoulders loose. So listen up. You need one kettlebell and or one dumbbell. Pick a corner. My corner is going to be that back corner right there. That's going to be my corner where I keep my stuff. You each need to pick your own corner to put your stuff. So just have your own corner in your square. Have an imaginary, imaginary square around your room. Tyson is nine years old. Renee. Frankie Zamaticus, what's up? Project graduate from the last class, 25 years old. Freak show. Thank you, just graduated the project just a few weeks ago. So you're gonna have a corner across the floor with your dumbbell and your kettlebell. So we're gonna start with just the kettlebell this round. Or if you have a dumbbell, you're just gonna pretend it's a kettlebell, it doesn't matter, you can do the same movements. So we're gonna go real slow on this round just to show you how this day is gonna go. So I'm gonna start in my corner. I think you can see me on both the Instagrams and the Facebooks, right? So I'm starting in my corner. I'm gonna start with my exercise, which is just double arm swings. We're all gonna switch at the same time. So let's go, just double arm swing. Go. If you have a kettlebell, you're just, I mean a dumbbell, you're just doing this with your dumbbell. Whip it, double arm swing. Bend the knees, hip hinge, whip it up. Squeeze your glutes, you come up. Simple. And this exercise is gonna stay the same this entire round on this corner. So check it out. It's not gonna be a ton of them. 10, 12, 15, whatever. Now in my imaginary square, I'm gonna start going clockwise or counterclockwise, don't care, just pick a direction. We're gonna go this way. So I'm shuffling across to my one corner. I'm just gonna jog forward, shuffle across the other way, and then backwards. Back to my exercise. Now I'm gonna go one full direction the other way. And shuffle across here. I'll go smaller so I can stay on the camera for you. Here, shuffle across, and I'm gonna go back to my exercise. So listen, depending on how big your square is, you might need to go two, three, four times on your square, but do at least a minimum of two. If you have a big square, at least go one full one way, one full the other way with the different movements we're using across the floor. Back to the double arm swing. This exercise is staying the same this whole round. So go at your own pace. Breathe it out when you bring it up. Squeeze your glutes. Snap your hips. Head up, chest out, shoulders back and down. Abs are strong. So that footwork is going to stay the same. And this exercise is going to stay the same. Time. So whatever size square you have, you'll keep doing the circling until I call it at your corner. If you're not in your corner I call time, you just run to your corner. So let's go. Shuffle across. Run. Shuffle. We're keeping this real simple just to show you. You need to get your stuff out of, your, out of the floor before you kill someone. Backwards. Shuffle, so it's just a side okay. shuffle, forward run, side shuffle the other way, backwards run, change direction, forward run, side shuffle, backwards run. What are you doing? You're doing the pull up version? This is forward, Tyson. You're facing that way the whole time. Okay, shuffle. Forward run, shuffle, shuffle. side shuffle. He's shuffle. doing the, the pull up version. <laughs> Side shuffle. You get that one from me. So jog forward. It's just jog. This is just light and loose. We're just getting you warmed up and getting you used to your square. And time. Back to your exercise. Same exercise. Same footwork. Keeping it the same. So not much to think about. So if you end up on a different corner when I call time, just stop. Run over to your exercise. So we're all starting and stopping on the same time. Double arm swing. Keeping this real simple this first round so you can get the idea. Our footwork on those squares is going to change every round. Our exercise in our corner 
We'll change every round. So I'm gonna go real simple, just to show you the idea and get you into the flow. And wake your asses up! Because it's not that hard, but I can see some of you. I can see you through the internet, fumbling around your house, tripping over, falling on your damn couch, and all kinds of shit. Time! Back to the footwork. Get your equipment out of the way so you're not busting your ass. If you have people around you, chase them. If you catch them, run their asses over. <laughs> you're not doing, you're, you're running. You're not doing the corners. Look. Side. Cut. Okay. Cut. Back. Change direction. Switch. Switch directions. Ah. Oh, yeah, boy. I'm coming. Oh, I'm coming. Ha, 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 ha. I'm coming, boy. I can't keep up with those little feet. Little feet go fast. I can't go that fast and I can't even What's stop. This? What's this? Run over. Switch directions. Just jogging forward, side shuffle, jog back, side shuffle, forward, to the right, back, and exercise. Last time on this exercise, go. Now you're getting the flow. We can switch it up. Whip it. Or whip it out there. Squeeze the glutes, pinch the abs. Squeeze the foot together. And time. Shake it, shake it. We're just getting warmed up, just getting the blood flowing. So that's how those rounds are gonna go. You're gonna have a different footwork to get your square around the floor. Let me on that camera. Different footwork to get your square around the floor and a different exercise on the end. This round I'm gonna use your dumbbell if you have a dumbbell or whatever, it doesn't matter. If you have dumbbell, kettlebell, it really doesn't matter. Just shake it, stay loose, get ready for the next round. Strip if you need to. Start taking off some damn clothes. Getting ready for the next round. Stretch those arms. Some of these are gonna be, some of these movements are gonna be on your arms, on your hands. So this one is going to be on your arm, on your hands. It's going to be a bear crawl. A bear crawl forward, then a lateral bear crawl to the side, bear crawl backwards, lateral bear crawl forward. So we'll get at least one each direction on your circle. And I'll call it when we're on the exercise. The exercise is just going to be single arm, since the bear crawl is a little more upper body, single arm, just bicep curl, easy. So it's not nothing overhead for your shoulders. Single arm bicep curl, and I'll call when you need to switch on the arms. So, bear crawl, square, across the floor, around the floor. Dumbbells with single arm bicep curl, easy stuff. That's your break on the end. You want this bear crawl a little slow, right? The bear crawl you want kind of slow, especially the space you have. So, actually we're gonna call this a bear walk, where I want your back flat, and your knees bent the whole time. So watch it, check it out. Not running. Bear walk, especially if you have a small space in your house. We can do a crawl here, but look, a bear walk is here. See, I'm flat. My knees are right next to the floor the whole time. Side to side. I don't know if you can see me, which cameras can see me, which ones can't, but you get the idea. I'm going to my left, then I'm coming backwards. And then I'm going to my right. Yeah, you two could just watch me do a whole square. Oh. Begin. Begin. Start it off. Go. Bear walk. See, I'm going nice and slow. That's if you have small space. If you have big space like us, we're now going to go reverse direction a little faster. Go. Reverse direction fast. So you can crawl for it. Crawl for it. Now bear crawl. Going for it. Not walk. Bear crawl. Oh, this feels good after that push-up challenge. Yeah. Right, so I don't feel my elbows here because I'm not bending them. Change directions. So bear crawl if you have some space. Make it a real slow, deliberate walk if you have small space. And time, get to your corner. Oh, those sucked. Those sucked pretty much. You're welcome. Bicep curl, pick an arm. We're just gonna go like five or six or eight or 10 or 15 each arm or 100, 
Fuck it. Five or six or seven or eight. Switch arms. We're not looking to wear either arm out. We're looking to get one, get a break. Well, the other one's working. It's literally going to be a few reps. Elbow stuck to your side. Squeeze the bicep. My left bicep is so slow, but my right one is so slow. I have one more than the other. Switch. Right to the other arm. This is your break. Watch this kids when you start flying over. Oh, my God. A little windy here in Southern California, but sunny as hell. Switch. Squeeze it. Switch. This is just getting your... Giving you a break from the bear crawl or bear walk. Don't forget, if you have space, go slower on the bear. I mean, if you don't have space, go real slow, deliberate, square, bear walk. If you have some room, you're outside, whatever, go a little faster pace, get the heart rate up a little more. Bear crawl. We're all going slow this one, walk, even though we have space, so it's gonna take a long time. So your knees should be bent the whole time. Look, my knee's almost touching the floor. Side to side. Same thing for forward. Look at me going forward, Tice. See, my knees are down, so I'm not extending really. Little tiny steps. When you're going side, it should be opposite arm, opposite leg. One lap, change direction. Sticking with the walk. Oh yeah. Again, right to the suckery. Right off the bat. Keep speaking my voice. Keep squeezing like my voice. So keeps screech. Time. Right back to those bicep curls. Whatever arm you started on or whatever arm you finished on, start with the other arm. So you're just constantly alternating. Whatever, just mix it up. You get what I mean. Go walk over here. First because all of our cameras are ready to blow away. I don't want to see if you have any if you have any questions, comments, put them down below. Make sure to share this video. Switch arms. Share this video. Like it, put comments below if you have any questions. Let us know where you're following along from. If you're following along live, where are you following along from? If you're on a replay, just type in replay. Yeah, just whack me with your weight. That's great. Break my hand. Pause it up, squeeze it, switch arms. Switch arms. Pumping it. And switch. He has all these names saying join and then shows one in the hot. Done. Back to your circle. We're going to go a little faster pace. Even if you have a small circle, I want you going fast pace. You'll just be spinning in circles around your damn living room like the freaking Tasmanian devil chasing the roadrunner. What? <laughs> what is the Tasmanian That's devil wrong chasing the roadrunner? Go! Uh, it's me chasing you right now. You're the roadrunner. You, oh. you should be saying, me, me. <laughs> and I say, <laughs> and Tasmanian devil would say, <laughs> and you would just say, me, me. <laughs> Me, me. Switch directions. Tasmanian devil. Tasmanian devil. I don't know what that is. You gotta. Ow! You gotta watch it. Oh, I just bashed into a metal pole with my shin. That was good. But the Tasmanian devil just runs through shit, including Russians. If you don't move. Time. Oh yeah. Play Tasmanian Devil. How, this kid does not even know who Tasmanian Devil and the Roadrunner is. That's a disgrace to the American freaking country. Wait, what is it? Cartoon. When I was a kid. I showed it to you once. I mean, it was very violent. Like they'd blow each other up, rip each other's limbs off. and rip oh. Nowadays it would be considered too violent. And it wouldn't be like, I don't know, equal something or other. Bicep curl. I'm just leaving my corner just to come hang out with you freaks. Because I don't have any friends in real life. So I just have to have friends with a bunch of emojis. <laughs> My only friends are emojis on the internet. And people who po and people who poke me on MySpace. Pump that arm out. We're on bicep curl. Facebook can't even see because uh, it's sideways. I switch arms. I didn't call switch. So if you see me switch, then switch. Switch! Popping those arms out. Go one more round on the crawls. Pumping it, pumping it. Switch. Here we go. Getting the arms pumped out, elbow stuck to your side. Abs are tight. Think abs every set. Think of every set exercise as an ab exercise. Every set as an ab set, supporting the movement that you're doing. Done. Back to the crawl. Get to the corner. Get to the corner. Do, do fast, slow, whatever. 
Whatever, go. Go to the left. Whatever you have space for, whatever you felt like you were getting better work, better control, better strength, better conditioning, better heart rate, go with whatever felt better to you. Go for it. What that felt better for me was the Tasmanian Devil! Change directions! He's cooking. Ah! Oh my god! Ah! Get one more set of bicep curls in before we call it around. Just because you can never get too much freaking bicep curls. Pamela Hawkins, chicken tonight. Better not be freaking fried chicken. Like you're always saying. Pam? Yeah. Pam, what kind of chicken are you having? Pump tonight? that arm out. Bicep curl. I'm going to come up with all my emoji friends. It's weird. My whole life, I just had imaginary friends in my head. And I just still have a bunch of imaginary friends on the internet. <laughs> Mark Zanderberg must have had the same problem. So he made a bunch of friends on the internet. Pop that arm out, switch, switch arms if you didn't already. Dig it. She said chicken. Rolled chicken. Mm -hmm. Like that stuff in phone is already down to 71% from this. It was at 100. It goes down so fast. Wait, what? Pump it out. That battery just goes out as fast as an older phone. Oh. Switch! Pumping those arms up. The curls for the girls! Why is it so bright on my phone? That's probably why it dies so quick. The brightness is so up. This one? Yeah. Switch the brightness. It's so bright, maybe it doesn't have that screen. No, the brightness is on max. That's why it dies so fast. <laughs> why won't it let me lower it down? Not auto brightness. Oh my god. That's why it dies so fast. It's on. Some max auto brightness. Pump that out. Curls for the girls and time. So in the summertime, or anytime in California, when someone asks you what time it is, you go like this. And you look at your watch like that when you're getting your flex on. Or if they ask where's the beach or where's the store, you go like this. It's right there, over there. That's why we do bicep curls. That's the only reason you do bicep curls is to tell people what time it is and to give them directions to the fucking beach. That's it. It's no other use for bicep curls. Shake it, stretch it, and we're gonna move on. Those arms out, stretch the legs out. We're gonna have a new movement around the floor and we're going back to kettlebells for our corner. Get to the corner! <laughs> they teach, school teacher used to yell at me all the day, all the time in elementary school. Actually, she didn't. She never yelled at anything to me. Actually, never knew I existed. I would just hide in space right in front of them. And they would leave me alone. You were on the other upside down world and changing things. We were beyond an upside down world. I was in an inside out, ass backwards fucking world. We're getting upside down. Upside down would have been cool. Shake it out, bounce it out. Get that blood flowing. Get ready for the next round. So forward, check it out. Forward is gonna be frog jumps. So on your forward, on the, on the straightaways, is down to the floor, look, up. Your fingertips touch the floor, your head stays up and out. Your sides is gonna be high knee lateral shuffle. So when you're going side to side of your square, is right here. Look, small steps. I'm doing a fast kick, but a slow drift. So I'm pumping real fast in the knees, but only drifting across the floor real slow. So not big gigantor freaking steps where you're there in like one step and you're banging into walls and shit. And then our exercise on the end is just kettlebell cleans, single arm. Kettlebell clean, I'll call switch. Or most likely I'll forget to call a switch because I'll be babbling and I'll just switch automatically. So you're just doing kettlebell clean from right here up to that shoulder wrap here. You're pulling the zipper up and you'll switch arms. If you see me switch, that means switch. That's a, if you see me switch arms, that's a universal signal to switch your fucking arms. And we're going to start with the kettlebell cleans because we want the exercise make sure we get enough reps in. Pick an arm, any arm doesn't freaking matter. I'm starting left because my right is more jacked up. Oh shoot, if you have a watch on. Take it off before you bash it. Have you ever broke your watch before from that? I've screwed them up, like dang, ding them and scratch them. Go, kettlebell clean. In your corner. Get to your corner, boy. Go to your room. Get in the corner. These have dunce caps years ago. A big triangular KKK looking hat that you put on them and say dunce. 
I imagine that they did away with those and don't do them anymore in school. Like dumbass, basically. Dipshit. Switch. Like not smart. Switch! They literally sit a kid in the corner. And I'm not all for making everyone feel all good and all that for no reason and bullshitting people their way through life, but putting a dunce cap on someone and putting them in the corner. I get what they were thinking with it, but that might have been a bit too extreme, even for my standards. I think the dunce caps ended like right when I got into school because we didn't really have that much. Only certain teachers did. Flip it up. Now and go. Nowadays in trouble with like... Go this way. Five jumps forward. High knee lateral shuffle to the side. See, I'm kicking fast, but slow drift. Oh, that knee. Oh, that knee. And frog jump backwards. I've never seen a frog jump backwards, but this is what he would look like if he was bald and hairy and ugly. And high knee on your back end. Change direction. So we get a full, at least one full square both directions. Jeez. I knee it. Across. Frog jump backwards. Ass backwards frog. <laughs> Fun fact for you, you might not have known. That's how frogs jump in Poland. Back to the cleans. Let's go clean kettlebell. How do kangaroos jump? Whip it up. The baby holds the mom in their there pouch. Is no <laughs> Flip it up. <laughs> Snap it up right up the middle. See, it's hip, legs whipping it. Snap of the body. Not letting it fling up or pull on your wrist or your elbow. It stays close to the body the whole time. Just turn the corner. Switch arms. Whip it up. Snap and whip. Where's the fourth stooge? Who's the fourth stooge? Bitch. Oh, he's not doing his work. Snap it up. Switch. It's a few more each side. We're going to do two sets each side. Just for the hell of it. Switch. That one's leaking sand all over the place. Like, I know. No, someone's going to slip. Don't even use it. We have a different one. Okay. All that loose gravel on here and we're shuffling stuff. It should be do something with it, but I think you leave it up here. And time! Nice is going to go switch the kettlebell, and we're going to be rolling. High knee across, high knee lateral shuffle, frog jump forward, high knee shuffle the other way. Russian frog jump backwards. Change direction. Oh, frog jump forward. You land on a shuffle across the front. What's up, freak shows? All up in your grill. You can see, you almost see my nose hairs flinging. High five. Like, like tentacles from an octopus. Those nose hairs are probably like this when I'm all close to you. They're similar. <laughs> okay. Change directions. We're going two times around. Go. Pump it. Pump it. Rubik. 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 Come fist bump. Oh, nice days of America. <laughs> Pump it. Across. Frog jump back. Should have hurry up my ass is gonna end up in your face. Hi! Hey. Hey. Oh yeah. That'll get your heart rate up. And now we'll fry the shit out of your legs. Kettlebell clean. Let's go freaks. I'm gonna come up out of my corner. Just to see what's going on up here. Flip it up. Kettlebell clean. Look, it ends up in that shoulder rack right there. Flip it, fling, boom. Right to it, snap. Pop it up there. Switch arms, switch. Switch arms, the kettlebell, kettlebell clean. Whip it, get a flow, get a rhythm. You're not really muscling it up there, you're exploding up there, smooth. Two more. And switch arms. Think about like riding a horse. 
and you're just holding the reins. Think of this hand over the kettlebell as the reins. You're just controlling it. Controlling the power of the kettlebell with your body. Switch again. Second arm, second set. Whip it. Explode up right into that shoulder rack. Oh, the hand is up. Or you could just spin a big hakalui right out like I did. That landed on. That landed on you, Instagram. My bad. Just hakalui on you. Like this big goober spit. Oh. Time, get back to the corner. All right, back to our square. High knee lateral shuffle. Frog jump it. High knee lateral to the side. Crossing all the different cameras. So you lose me for a second, lucky you. Change direction. Whatever your direction was, change direction. Go. And boing. Spring back. Oh yeah. Change direction. Pump those arms and legs and those high knees. Get the thighs up. Parallel to the floor. Let's bring it back. Time. Get about clean. One more set. Let's see what you got, freaks. Let's go. Get about clean. Whip it up there, whip it up there. Right inside shoulder rack. Switch, one more set of these. Three each side, go, boom. Oh. Whip. Bang. Three, switch, three on the other side. Time. And recover. Hydrate, stretch, Hydrate. shake. Do what you gotta do. This movement is gonna be back on the ground back on your arms, on the movement. So make sure you're getting those shoulders ready for this next round. Stretch them out. Stretch them. Shake them. Rotate them. Do whatever the hell you gotta do. Get ready. What's in your pre-workout, freaks? Write it down. What's in your pre-workout? Now is the time to stretch and just type it in the comments. What are you drinking? Are you drinking water? Are you drinking some kind of a magic concoction there? Someone sent a message the other, the other day during a class and they saw this hat. They asked, what does this hat stand for? This is a logo. I'll show on each of these cameras. To the project, the men's personal development program that we run here in California. The next one is in April, April 20th to 23rd. It's an in-person four-day event, but it's with coaching, training, guidance, leading up to the event for weeks or even months. And then it's a continued access to a lifelong networking brotherhood of just highly motivated men of fire. If, and that's a big if, you make it to the end and graduate the program and don't fucking quit. So what does the logo stand for? And if you want information about that, just put a message down below or just send me a private message. I'll send you an application form. That, that program is for men only. And we'll see if you're a good fit for the program. If you have what it takes, most men don't. Every man needs it, but most men don't have what it takes. It's all about breaking you down so you can have breakthroughs in life. Break down to breakthrough. So this logo here stands for each piece of the logo actually means something and I'll break that down in the next break because we need to get rolling. We're back to our dumbbell. It's gonna be on the ends, is gonna be just curl to press. Palm in, curl to press, I'll call switch. Back with your dumbbell. The movements going to the side is gonna be a straight push-up walk. 
One time I showed this in the air like this, like pretend I'm on the floor. Someone actually did that in the air and walked for their exercise when it was an in-person class. They thought that we were supposed to walk across the floor doing this. I'm like, are you a fucking mime or something? Because you're pretty damn good at it. You might want to do that as a side job. We're not doing mime training. You're going to be in a straight push-up walk. When you're going forward or backwards, you're going to do a reverse crawl out or a half crawl out or, and half squat thrust. I'll show you what that is. I'll walk you through real slow. This is going to be a longer round because I want to make sure you get this down. Let's do it. This one, we're going to start with the circle, with the square, not with the exercise. So look, it's going to be half crawl out, half squat thrust going forward, half squat thrust, half crawl out when you go backwards. And then just a lateral push up walking over the side. So look how this first one goes. On your square, we're going to go forward. You're going to crawl your hands forward, jump your feet forward. Crawl your hands forward, jump both feet forward. Crawl your hands forward, jump forward. Then on the side, you're just going to go to push up walk. Why are you going the opposite direction? Push up walk. Now backwards. Check it out. You're going to crawl your hands backwards. Jump your feet back. Crawl your hands back. Jump your feet back. Go to the push up walk. And time. Get to your corner. I just want to do a practice round of that. Just to show you how it goes. I'll walk you through it as we go also. Let's go. Grab your dumbbell this round. I wonder what happened to my dumbbell. There. Dumbbell now is just palm in, curl the press. Right here. Curl, press it up. Oh, that one the elbow oh. feels on the press from those push ups. Curl it, press it up. We destroyed our elbows, our chest, shoulders, tries, core, legs, even legs. Even my pinky toenail was, was freaking sore to the bone because we had to use every bit of energy. Switch arms for those push-ups. 24 hours worth of push-ups. Brutal at the end. We use a bad strategy, but whatever. We'll do it again. We'll do it again and crush those numbers. Not next week. Hell no. We already have the next charity fundraiser coming up. That's April 3rd. Switch arms. April 3rd to April 4th. We're doing 24 hours bike ride. How many miles can we ride in 24 hours? Straight through. No sleep. Just ride. Rest. Hydrate ride, like rest enough, like meaning just wherever we are in a park or whatever, stop there, stretch it out, just enough time to get back to riding. How many miles can we get in, in 24 hours? It's going to have to be fall asleep riding your bike. Oh my God. And you go off that big cliff on the trail, you know, where they like, like down that dip, those people are sometimes in that, in the, in like the sewer thing down there. You know, like a whole trail, you can go down the ditch, oh, bike yeah. trail, curl the press, palm in. You know, like the concrete that goes straight yeah. down. You remember those like marauders <sighs> yeah. that were on the dirt bikes? Curl the press. Time. Get back to your corner. And let's do it. Go in the other direction. Let's go. Push up. Walk to the side. And when you go forward, jump the feet forward. Crawl the hands. Jump forward. Crawl the hands. Jump forward. And then push up, walk to the side. Crawl the hands back. Jump back on the backwards. Crawl back. Jump back. Change directions. Forward is jump forward. Crawl. Jump forward. This is why I told you you need some space today. So I hope you found a little space. At least get one or two reps in each direction. If not, just figure it out. Crawl backwards. Jump back. Oh. oh my god. Pull back. Jump back. Push up walk with your hips down. Stiff as a board. Time. Back to that dumbbell. For the curl the press. Curl the press. I'm leaving my corner just to come and chit chat you freaks. But you better get in your corner. Get to your corner. Curl the press. Your arm should be a little faded after doing that shit across the floor. My shoulders are. Switch. It's literally just a few reps of each. It's like an active recovery. Let's get some work in before we go back to our square. Pop that out, drive it up. Switch. Literally just like three to five reps each side. We're just pumping through it. 
the way up, throw it up, switch. Curl press, control it. Control that weight, it's not bouncing, it's not flopping. And time, back to corner. Let's do it. We're starting this way. Go, if you're going forward, crawl forward, always in a push up position. Then jump your feet, crawl forward, jump your feet, crawl forward, jump your feet. And then lateral push up walk in a high plank position. Then backwards, crawl your hands backwards. Jump both feet back to the push up position, crawl back. Jump back, push up walk. Change directions. Push up walk to the side. Forward, crawl, forward, crawl, all the way across. Crawl back, jump, crawl back, jump, time. Roll the press. Whew, surprised we even could do that exercise at this point. Uh, all that walking on our hands. Curl the press. It's not, wasn't, doesn't feel as bad, doesn't feel that bad. I feel a little bit. Drive it up. Curl the press. We're not pushing, it's the push, it's the bend of the elbow. What kills us? That wasn't bending it. Switch arms. Curl the press, curl. Drive it up, breathe it out. Let me back up before you can smell my armpits from there. Drive it, drive it, drive it. Switch. Pumping this out. Just finishing all those arms off in this round. They got plenty of work with all that push up walking. And half squat thrust, half crawl out. Switch. Finish it. Pump out that second arm. Crush that squeeze. Get one of these up. There'll be wind coming. And time. Shake it out. Recover. Hydrogenation. As I'm talking about the project logo, I'm realizing I never even told Tyson what this means on this logo. So here's the logo. It's a skull with two axes and some like Viking-ish hat. Even though we call it modern day knights, it still looks more Viking-ish, but who gives a fuck? Someone said that one time, so that's really misleading that you call it, you call it the modern day knight project and that doesn't look like a knight, it looks like a Viking. I said, the fact that you're bitching and complaining about that tells me that you are a great candidate for the project. You need to unbitch yourself. You need to like, kill that inner bitch because who fucking cares? Anyway, there's two axes. This is for men. Just keep in mind, this is for men. This is what a man should be. I'm showing these and I'll, show, I'll keep going back here. The two axes. One axe is because sometimes men need to break shit and build shit with an axe. We need to build, we need to break, whatever that is. The other axe, sometimes we need to battle. We need an axe to battle, to fight with. One is for building and breaking, one is for fighting. This, the, the, the helmet is to remind ourselves that men always should be a warrior, should be a savage. We are civilized savages, but you should be a savage. That's what this warrior helmet is. That is a warrior helmet, a warrior Viking helmet, which means we need to be fucking warriors. That's what it means. And then the skull, the reason why it's specifically a skull, is to remember that you only have one thing that you have to do in life. What is that, Tyson? Die! It's die. You are going to die. It's a reminder that you're going to die. So when you look at that skull, and that's why it's right on my fucking hand, I look at that exact logo all the time on my hand, reminding myself, I'm going to die. You're going to die. It might be in a minute. It might be in a hundred years from now. It might be in 3,000 years from now. They come up with some elixir that is going to make you live forever. But it's a reminder that you're going to die. It's going to remind you need to go create shit. It's a mind you need to be a defender and a protector, and it's a mind to be a fucking warrior and a savage all the time. That's what the, the logo is about. Anyway, enough stalling. We got to get back to work. Again, if you want more information about the project, just send me a private message, and I will send you a link for the application, and we'll see if you have what it takes. Shake it and stretch it. Shake those arms. All right, we're back to our kettlebell. Kettlebell rounds gonna be very similar to the curl and press, except it's gonna be a clean 
to a press. So you flip it, dip it, and punch it up. Across the floor, all we're doing are little ankle hops, ankle hops, forward, side, back. Your feet, your calves are all gonna get pumped up, might get cramped up, just stretch your feet out, do what you have to do. Let's roll, we're gonna start with the exercise. Clean the press with your kettlebell. Very similar to the curl of the press. Look, but look, it's momentum. Flip, dip, snap it up. So legs, it's a one explosion and another explosion. Flip it, punch it up. It's close, look at this. Close to the center line of my body the entire time. We're only doing a few each. Switch arms. Whip it, dip it, snap it up. Flip, dip, and punch. Throw it up, throw it up. Breathe it out. Switch. Load it up there. Punch into the sky. You're punching King Kong in the nuts. He would only be that high. Yeah, I don't think we'd reach his nuts. All right, you're going to punch Shaquille O'Neal in the nuts. Who's Shaquille O'Neal? Basketball player. Like big, tall, like seven feet. Flip and time. Going this way. Double leg hops. Look, just ankle hops. They're tiny. Like you're jumping a rope. Your heels might raise the floor, but probably really off the floor. Just on the balls of your feet, the pads of your feet. All the way across. We look like a bunch of weirdos. Can't imagine why none of our neighbors invite us over for tea and, and biscuits. I don't like tea. Well, certain. Change directions. Sometimes we do this out in the street, or out in the driveway, or down the road, or up the road. From the push-up challenge, we went for a walk around the neighborhood, and every minute we dropped for a set of push-ups. And everyone looked at us, looked at us like we were fucking nuts. But who's nuts? Who's nuts? The ones drinking alcohol? So are the ones that are not nuts the ones drinking alcohol every day? Drinking cereal? Drinking cereal. Drinking, drinking alcohol? Smoking cigarettes? Eating shitty foods? Are those the ones that are not the weirdos? We're the weirdos? We're doing push-ups in the middle of the street? No, we're not stopping. I'm no, talking. Doesn't okay, mean I'll stop. Talk. That doesn't mean stop. Okay, you want to talk? Go ahead, take no, over. No, take over then. No. More of a job for since oh, we got to talk. Open, and in time, get to your corners. Oh, it's a little bunny hop. You're, you're, all, you're all ringing the bell from a bunny hop? Yes. Get off that check. We're on your... You're so lucky that we're live on TV. You are lucky. Wait till those cameras go off. <laughs> we're going to have some fun, child. <laughs> Let's go, clean the press. Oh, I gotta remember to put that in my t shirt. Come on, give me a pen, so I don't forget. Today? Okay. Well, my Steve says. Throw it up. Run, Tyson. Switch arms. Punch it. Flip. Dip. Snap. I need to write a note. This is gonna be a big bunny, look. Ah. <laughs> that wasn't a bunny, what was it? <sighs> you should have an app on your phone. Whenever you come up with a good idea, a good idea. you put it in your little app, your little note app. Change directions. Notepad and pen. So when you're working out, you'll come up with good ideas. When you're going for a walk, you'll come up with good ideas. You're going for a run, a hike. Or taking a dump on the toilet bowl. Or in the shower, doing all kinds of strange things in the shower. You'll probably come up with good ideas. Oh, who Write them down. In the shower. Time! To record our idea. Clean the press. Let's do it. Flip, dip, snap, straight overhead. 
explode. Switch arms. Just quick sets. It's like three each. Flip it. Throw it up. Switch. If you have lightweight, you can be going fast, just banging your reps out. Or if you have a dumbbell, you just simulate the same movement with your dumbbell. Switch. Session expired. Please log in again. That is annoying. Hey, Instagram people. Break. Take a break. Time. You're on time. Well, we got like four or five phones here. But only one of them is on Facebook. And that's the one that's this way to get like a good HD recording to put this on YouTube. What's up, Blanchard? Freak show. And Facebook, out of nowhere, just says all the time, session expired. Please log in again. Does anyone know what the fuck is the problem with that?